Hey guys, back with another review today of the Sume Grandizer, number 584 of a thousand pieces. Uh, this is the certificate of authenticity here, and it comes with this nice little. What is that? A plaque. A little plaque. Num it's numbered. Pretty cool little piece. It's got this art print. Cool little art print. And it has the manual here that puts the piece itself together. Oh, it just folds out? Yeah. And it comes in this little, what is that? The envelope or whatever. That's how he comes. Really cool. And this is the piece itself. Let's get into the review. Well, uh, hey guys. So this is the HQS Plus of Grandizer. This is to commemorate the uh, 40th anniversary of the release from, uh, from Gona Guy. Released by Summit Art. Originally displayed, I believe it's uh, Summit Fan Days 2 in uh, 2017 it's when the license was announced um it's been a long time coming if anybody has ordered this you, you'll probably know it, it's been uh, several years unfortunately worth of production and production woes but he is finally shipping and holy moly is well was he worth the wait um so if anybody does know who he is he is the third creation from uh, going a guy uh, the creative uh, messenger Z, great grand messenger, um, grandizer was his third one. Another thing, uh, he's also the creator of Devilman. So, uh, grandizer is part of the of the Shogun, Shogun Warriors uh, line of uh, giant robots, uh, piloted by Duke Freed from the planet Vega. So. Uh, fantastic cartoon. Uh, originally debuted, I believe, like something like 1975, and it ran through the 80s. Uh, but uh, like I said, this is Suma's uh, Suma's version of him in to celebrate. <laughs> There's Koji in his uh, double spacer. So awesome piece. Uh, a lot of different options and switch outs that you can do with them. Really, just showing you all the different attributes that uh, that he had and that he portrayed in the anime and the manga so I did just <laughs> there's not a lot I I can say so much on him if uh, you want a history lesson type thing but just to get to the piece I mean you can see the weathering effects as he panned up on the boots um, the white on the metal there's uh, there's crack within the joints I mean you can literally feel like this is a giant working robot that's been going out and fighting suffering through blasts and whatever it may be uh, as he's been challenging and defeating opponents um, awesome looking textures and just the different uh, the different aspects a uh, very vibrant paint jobs and the application is came out really really great uh, there were some challenges originally from the factory with the blue uh, they couldn't quite match the uh, the master paint that was given to them and that is part of the reason of the original delays same thing with the black uh, really uh, a really glossy high shine aspect behind it so you can kind of there's Vega ship crashing down within the blast you can see the the battle damage on there or different uh, different lasers, points, or whatever the heck, you know, damage to it. Can you show us the um, the light-up feature and what's in there? So the light-up is on, the lights are on right now. So it's a quick, just, it's a three-part helmet. So it's magnetized for the back of the helmet. It's a simple switch back here, three batteries in the rear, and then... There's Duke. Uh, 
LED connected there. Crazy. So, and then the face mask goes back on on these little pegs. There's matching holes. Just get those in there. And then the back of the helmet just goes back on. The crown is replaceable just because there's a swap out option as well. And you mentioned uh, it was an issue with this one, right? Like somebody might experience with that centerpiece? Oh, mine in particular, yeah. So you could probably see I have a little bit of a gap. And then nothing major, but it, it's, it's there. So it probably has to do with the magnet alignment. And there's another piece that, that replaces that one, right? Like, yeah, so there's a swap out with this Space Thunder. It's one of the attacks. And that doesn't light up? No, 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 it doesn't. It's just clear resin? Correct. And how about the... Uh, arms and stuff so there are about uh, there's five different arms for however many different combinations you want and there's a separate torso as well um, let's uh, swap a couple of them up so they're they're pretty much joined by a they're they're keyed in so here you have his his version of the rocket punch coming right at you and what is the other, the other arm switch out or no? yeah so trying to find a spot for the arm. So. Oh, it's just the arm without the axe. Yes. So normally when you, if you do something like that, then this would be the torso because here's the blades from the Sakura. So that would go on with this or yes. that would go on with the blades? No, this one would go on with these arms. This is the torso for the blade arms. And you said that ship goes on it somehow. Uh, yeah. This one's going to take me a little bit to hold on. I like that shine off of the black. Oh, the gloss on this, on this paint is fantastic. It really pops. And there's a big pin right there. That's what he rests on. Yeah. Oh, you got to take that out too? Yeah, we got to swap out this part of the torso. So this is the bottom part of the base, this whole thing. Is this, that all one piece? That's all one piece except for the knee. This comes off. But everything from this point right here all the way down, that's all one piece. And is there any PVC on this? Uh, probably in the face. And more than likely Koji and... Um, the rest of it, everything is just... It's uh, all resin. It's all resin. Good to know. So there we go.
Okay, so they are sturdy. And that just right. goes in with the uh, key? Mm-hmm. Put this one back on, or if you want, I'm gonna show the art box real quick. Okay, that's the art box right there that it comes with, and it comes in two boxes like that brown chipper. Yeah, two gigantic boxes. <laughs> so I'll let them spin around so everybody could get a good look at them. Yeah, man, it has a lot of swap outs, nice paint job. Sick looking piece. Thousand edition size? Yes, an ES of 1000. He's huge. He's heavy. Um, he's solid. I mean, if you look at the red when the light catches it, I mean, it just pops. Same mm -hmm. thing with the with the black. It's, it's just really shiny, really glossy. You can catch dips of the blue as well. And uh, what was the wait time on this? When did this originally go up for Peel? Uh, I believe it went up on Peel sometime in 2017. Damn, two it, years? Uh, it's It's been delayed quite a bit. And it was like paint issues, as you mentioned? Uh, some production issues, some... Uh, um, the initial batch, first factory, didn't exactly meet standard. And uh, they didn't want to release the piece uh, subpar. So they were uh, the whole team was very passionate about it. Wanted to make sure when that this piece went out right, so people would be happy with it. So uh, we had uh, several, several delays for him, but it, these definitely worth the wait. I was going to ask you that. This is a day one for you. Uh no, I was a little bit late on him. About six months, I got on the wait list and eventually converted. So you've been waiting like two years, as you said. This two, is two worth, and a half years, yeah. worth the wait, huh? Oh yeah, he's been uh, he's been more than worth the wait. Yeah, it's all childhood memories coming. And what does this retail? He retailed at approximately twelve hundred euro, I believe, eleven ninety nine, about fifteen hundred US. So is he shipping now? When can everybody expect to get this? Uh, he has been shipping actively. He started shipping in Europe quite a few months ago. Uh, he's been a slow process. And I believe there were several people in the U.S. that have gotten him already. So he's uh, he's getting close. So he's coming. Oh, yeah. If you've ordered him, he will be coming. All right, guys. There you have it. Sume Grandizer. And this is a... Uh... I think you mentioned this is a one and done, right? They don't have this. Yeah, this is a one. This was a one piece license. One, well, uh, one unit and, and done. It's a shame, but at least there you got it. Whoever else has it on order, you got it. Look at his face. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, take care.